In this video, we're going to talk about how to troubleshoot rejected or denied claims within Collaborate MD. Let's get started. Before locating rejections or denials, let's review the claim lifecycle to understand different points where a claim may fail. After you create and submit claims, it is sent to the clearinghouse. Upon receipt, the claim is examined across thousands of payer-assigned clearinghouse edits. If no errors are found, the claim is forwarded to the payer, where they will adjudicate the information to verify missing or incorrect data. They will proceed with the adjudication process and respond with an EOB or ERA. There are three basic steps to the life cycle of a claim. Submission and processing, adjudication, and payment or denials. The claim can fail during any of these steps. Clearinghouse submission and processing. Should the clearinghouse identify an error, they will reject the claim, preventing it from sending to the payer. These types of rejections are called clearinghouse exclusions. Adjudication by the payer's EDI. If the payer finds any errors, they will reject the claim back to you. These are identified as payer-generated rejections. Denials. If a billing error is found after the payer processes the claim, it will be flagged as a denial and will be included within the paper EOB or ERA. Now that we fully understand the life cycle of a claim and where a claim may reject or become a denial, let's review how to locate these rejected or denied claims. We'll start with the Rejected Claims Dashboard. Here, you can view a list of rejections received in the past seven days. Clicking on the rejection message will display the list of associated claims within Claim Tracker. If you would like to see a list of just your clearinghouse exclusions, consider using the Claims Rejected at Clearinghouse report. This report will display all claims that have been rejected by the clearinghouse within a specified date range. If you wanted to see all of your rejected and denied claims in one place, it is best practice to use the Claim Tracker feature. Enter your criteria, then click Search. Check the Expand All box to quickly see the status messages of your submitted claims. Rejection messages are identified by a red exclamation mark. Let's take a look at a few examples. Let's start with the clearinghouse rejection first. We can see that this claim was not sent on to the payer because the ICD code is not valid. This claim rejection states that the member was not found. This is referring to the insured on the claim you should check the insured's member number or date of birth. Alternatively, you can run eligibility against the patient's record to validate the member's information. The last example shows a denied claim. We received an ERA and a list of remittance codes that state this charge was denied because a payment was already made. It is also important to note that most of these rejection messages come directly from the payer's EDI, so they may differ in wording between different payers. Once you understand the reason for the rejection, be sure to correct the error within Collaborate MD. For example, if the claim rejected due to an invalid provider NPI number, update that NPI within the provider section. If the claim rejected because the insured's member ID was incorrect, make the update from the patient's account and update the applicable claims. Or, if the incorrect ICD code was used, open the claim and select the correct code. After the claim is corrected, the next step is to resubmit the claim. Please reference our Resubmitting Rejected Claims video or help articles for step-by-step -step instructions. There we go, a quick walkthrough on how to troubleshoot rejected claims. 
Claim rejections make medical billing and coding challenging, but with CMD, we make it easier. For step-by-step -step directions, FAQs, and other how-to videos on the claim section, visit our Knowledge Center at help.collaboratemd.com. Thanks for watching.